Good morning, nights. How y'all doing today? I am doing okay. Hey, new year, new learning situation. Can't wait to see you guys in class. My name is Bill Goodson, or Mr. Goodson for you, you students. Um, I teach gateway to technology, design and model, and projects in industrial technology. Um, so those are my two classes. A little bit about myself. This is my ninth year here at Indian Hills. It is my 20th year here in the district. Um, I have 27 years total experience. Um, I came from, or graduated from Art Kansas City, Kansas. Don't know where that is. Don't worry about it. No one else does either. Um, it's about an hour south of Wichita, Kansas. So I'm right on the Oklahoma border. Our claim to fame there was um, we were one of the three original towns for the Oklahoma uh, land rush. So our town really boomed right before the uh, land rush and then went dead. Anyway, um, I do have two daughters. Tegan, she just graduated from Alabama, and Riley, she graduated from uh, University of Kansas. So, I got two graduates. Uh, they couldn't be here today. Something about work, overrated. Anyway, my philosophy is it's never work as long as you're having fun. So I try to have as much fun as I can in, he in here with you and with my subject matter. Now, one subject matter, um, Projects is a little bit more serious because you could lose a finger or something. But since we're talking about gateway to technology, um, design and model, that's what we're going to worry about right now. Design and model is basically a course that's going to teach you how to draw. Now, not like an art type of draw, but like as in a mechanical phase. Um, like behind me, um, that's one of the objects we first draw out with using our hands. And then we come back, get on the computer, and do it in a 3D model situation, all right? Um, big thing is, I will be teaching one course online or remote, and then the rest of you, I'm hoping to have in a couple weeks. All right? Um, anyway, so once when we come in here, we're gonna learn a little bit about drafting. We're gonna learn a lot about measurements right at first. So we'll learn how, the history of it, um, what they used to do, and then what we do do, and we're gonna get to real fine precision measurements also. Because when we're drafting into something like this on a computer, we can get really, really small. All right? All right, uh, what else is there? Oh, for those remote people, or when we do go remote, um, we will have to use a program called Fusion, Three, Fusion 360 or 360 Fusion, I can't remember which one it is, um, but that should be loaded up on your computers, I'm hoping. That's another one of those hoping things. Um, if not, we'll get it there, don't worry. We, we got some time before we actually start on the computer part of the drawing. Um, we're gonna do a lot of, like I said, hands-on, so we kinda understand what we're going for, then when we get on the computer, it's like, oh, I did this before. I know how to do it. We just have to manipulate the computer to do what, what we want, all right? And then when we come back, or hopefully you guys are already here, um, we're gonna get, we got a brand new computer. It's kinda excited about that. Our last ones were really old and really slow, all right? So with our computers that we have now, like the one behind me, that is a program called um, Inventor. Sorry, so many programs we had to think about to work with, we finally got a few that stuck and stays with us. Inventor is a very complicated program. No, just joking. I just want to see you panic right at first. Um, it is easy to use, um, and I can't wait to get you guys on it because it does some amazing things. Like right here, let me get you in focused in. Sorry. My... Uh, my filmer left for the day. All right, so like we can take this and take the view cube and we can turn this thing around. We can color it different things. Um, yeah, it, it's just phenomenal. All right, a lot of industries use Inventor. All right, so hopefully we're gonna get on there and get, get you there. Now the other ones that are remote, 
Inventor is only a PC-based uh, program, so that's why we have to do Fusion 360. But you guys will be also doing the same thing. Now, I'm, I'll be new to 360, but good thing about all design programs, they're all basically the same. They just put stuff in different areas and call it different things. So we'll get through it. Um, can't wait to see you guys. And I'll see you in class. Have a good day.